everyone welcome to social studies class today i am uploading my first video for class 6 this video is all about our solar system i have divided this entire topic in two parts and in this part i will be talking about origin of the earth celestial bodies and planets you all know that today we are well equipped with advanced technology scientists are now able to calculate the distance between celestial bodies With the help of powerful telescope we are in fact able to see some of them clearly yet there is still so much to learn and discover about this vast universe so let's get started now let us talk about the origin of the earth the origin of the earth has its roots in the big bang theory now what is this big bang theory It is the theory or explanation about how the universe began or how it came into being. Most astronomers believe that the universe came into existence about 14 billion years ago from a massive explosion called the Big Bang. ज्यादातर astronomers द्वारा ये माना जाता है कि इस Big Bang explosion के बाद ही हमारे universe का creation start हुआ. small atoms formed within minutes of explosion and the process of creation began atoms eventually formed clouds of gas and dust called nebula the nebula is believed to be the birth place of stars aisa mana jata hai jab ye big bang explosion hua iske kuch hi minutes baad chote atoms clouds of gas and dust ka formation karne lage और इस फॉर्मेशन को नेबुला बोला जाता है इट इज बिलीव कि ये नेबुला ही स्टार्स के बर्थ प्लेस है एज द क्लम्स ऑफ डस्ट एंड गैस इन नेबुला आर ड्रॉन टुगेदर बाय देयर ओन ग्रेविटी द इंक्रीजिंग प्रेशर एंड हाई टेम्परेचर रिजल्ट इन न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन एंड स्टार्स बिगिन टू शाइन नाउ मूविंग ऑन Let us talk about the Milky Way galaxy. Almost a billion years after the Big Bang, stars, dust and gases clustered to form galaxies. Now what is galaxy? A galaxy is a gravitational bound system and it consists of huge collection of stars, gas, dust and the solar system. The Milky Way galaxy which is home of the Earth and the solar system was formed means it formed after billions years of the big bang explosion According to one estimate 100 billion galaxies are observable The sun which is a star was formed 4.6 billion years ago The Earth and the other planets that revolve around the sun evolved from the sun's debris now what is the meaning of debris debris means remains jisko hum hindi mein malba bhi bolte hain so the earth and the other planets that revolve around the sun evolved from the sun's debris that is the gas and dust particles that were spinning around the sun at high speed now it's time to talk about celestial bodies all objects that exist in the sky are called celestial bodies they can be defined as the natural body outside of the earth's atmosphere sometimes celestial bodies are also called heavenly bodies celestial bodies that we know about include the sun the moon asteroids meteors the planets and the stars now let us talk about stars Stars are huge celestial bodies. They look small because they are far away from us. You can easily understand that keeping the size of the sun in mind, they are actually very huge but appear small to us. They are made up of burning gases. When these gases burn, they emit a tremendous amount of heat and light. The star nearest to the earth is the sun. Well actually it is about 150 million kilometers away. There are millions of stars like the sun. 
The second nearest star is Proxima Centauri, which is 4.25 light years away from the Earth. Clusters or group of stars are called constellations. Constellations ko hum Hindi mein nakshatra bolte hain. Some major constellations are Ursa Major, Ursa Minor, Orion, Canis Major, and Hydra. Ursa Major is also called Saptarishi in Hindi. The two stars at the ends are called pointers. The brightest star in the sky is the pole star or the north star. The north star is almost directly above the north pole. People in ancient times used to determine the north direction at the night with the help of north star only. Now let's talk about the sun. Like all stars, the sun is made up of intensely hot and burning gases. It is the main source of heat, light and energy for the earth. Basically, you need to understand the sun's energy drives the weather and climate on the earth and it supports almost all life on earth. The sun is about 150 million kilometers away from the earth and has surface temperature of 5600 degrees Celsius. It is 109 times bigger than earth. It lies at the center of the solar system and its gravity keeps planets in their orbits. Means, jo sun ki gravity hoti hai, usi ki wajay se jitne bhi planets hai hamare solar system mein sab apne path ya orbits par fixed rahte hai. The light from the sun takes about 8 minutes and 20 seconds to reach the earth's surface. This light is reflected by planets and their satellites which is why we are able to see them in the night sky, despite the fact that they do not have their own light. Let's talk about planets. This word comes from the Greek word planisthai, which means to wander, to roam, to saunter. These heavenly bodies are made up of solid materials. Since they are not made up of burning gases, they do not have heat and light of their own. They only reflect the light which they receive from a star. They move around the sun along a fixed path called an orbit. There are eight planets in the solar system and all of them revolve around the sun. One complete orbit around the sun is called revolution. In order of their distance from the Sun, the planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Let's talk about all these eight planets in detail. Mercury and Venus. Let's first talk about Mercury. This planet is closest to the Sun. It has the shortest orbit and it takes about 88 days to complete one revolution around the sun. As it is closest to the sun, it is very hot. Mercury has no atmosphere and hence there is no life. A day on a Mercury is 1405.7 hours long. Imagine, our day is of 24 hours long. Now let's talk about Venus. This is the brightest of all planets as seen from the Earth. About the same size as the Earth, it is also called the Earth's twin. It is also called the morning star or evening star. So basically Venus has so many names, Earth's twin, morning star and evening star. Venus rotates much more slowly than the Earth does. So a day on Venus is much more longer than a day on Earth. Now it's time to talk about the most unique planet that is Earth. This is the fifth largest planet in the solar system. It is also called the blue planet or watery planet as 70% of its surface is covered with water. Earth is the only planet that supports life making it a most unique planet. 
there is only one natural satellite of the planet Earth and that is the Moon. Earth actually takes 365.256 days to complete one revolution. Mars Its iron-rich red soil and pink sky give it the name Red Planet. So basically Mars is also called Red Planet. It is the closest planet to the Earth. It does not support life as the atmosphere contains 95% carbon dioxide. Mars is the home to tallest mountain in the solar system that is Olympus Mon. Jupiter and Saturn Jupiter is the largest planet of the solar system. It has a gaseous surface of hydrogen and helium. Hydrogen and helium are basically an element and they are present in the form of gas. The most striking feature of Jupiter is that great red spot, which is a rotating storm system that has lasted for more than 100 years. Jupiter has the fastest rotation of all the planets in the solar system, completing one rotation on its axis every 9.9 .9 hours. Saturn It is the second largest planet in the solar system. It is characterized by spectacular rings which are made up of ice and ice-covered dust particles. Saturn takes just over 10 and a half hours to rotate once on its axis. A year on Saturn lasts about as long as 29.5 years on Earth. Uranus and Neptune This planet rotates on its axis from east to west. Its atmosphere consists mainly of hydrogen with traces of helium, ammonia and methane. It has at least 10 uniform black rings made up of dust. It rotates on its axis every 17 hours and 14 minutes. Neptune Neptune is the most distant gas planet. The atmosphere consists of mainly hydrogen and helium. It has three rings made up of dust. One day Neptune takes about 16 hours. It is also called the coldest planet in the solar system. So that's all for today. We will continue this chapter in next part. And in part 2 I will talk about satellites, asteroids, meteors and many more other things which are related to this topic. Thank you.